Hey guys, thanks so much for joining in. If you haven't already, go ahead and click subscribe and turn on notifications to make sure you don't miss any of the workouts for you. Good morning guys, I'm Jada and today we are going into a full body workout. We're gonna be using intervals, grab your dumbbells, and I'm using actually one set of dumbbells that I can use for upper and lower body. So find that middle of the line challenging uh, resistance for you and that'll work perfect. All right, let's go ahead and get into the warm up. Big shoulder rolls back, good. And forward. So we're doing four different sets today. Each set has four moves. Gonna be working for about 50 seconds. Go ahead and squat right here. 50 seconds of work and about 10 seconds of rest between moves. So get ready, cause we're going in. <laughs> it's gonna feel great. And each of these moves are gonna build on each other. Two more. Awesome, add a big hip circle, squat in the center, big hip circle, other side. See if you can make a huge circle with your knee, moving through your hip joint. Couple more. And last one, awesome. Let's reach up to one side, twist, and then reach down to the other. Big torso twist. Feeling that stretch through the core. Getting those legs involved, bend with those knees. A couple more. Last one. Awesome, let's do that same thing. Other side, reach up and down. Don't forget to twist as you reach. So I'm facing one side and then facing the other. Awesome, keep going. Last two. And last one right here. Great job, feet come together. I'm gonna show you from the side. Reach forward down to your toe, arms circle up. Going into a little bit of a hamstring stretch. Feeling the back of my legs start to warm up. Push your hips back as you reach down for your toe. Couple more. One more each side. Awesome, I'm just gonna jog a little bit, do a little bit of a, let's see, what is this called? Opening your chest, chest opener. <laughs> All right, keep going. Three, two, and one. All right, so let me break down how this first set is gonna go. We're starting, grab your dumbbells, with an alternating lateral lunge and a fly. Start right in the center of your space, big step out with one side, toes forward, fly at the bottom of the lunge, stand up, and then switch, same move, other side. All right, we're going in, on your mark, get set, and go. Nice job, guys. Lateral lunge, push your butt to the back. Feel the weight in your heels. With that fly, push your chest out. Squeeze your shoulder blades together as your arms come up and away from the floor. Keep going. Starting to warm up. <laughs> Y'all, it's cold out here. You wouldn't, you, maybe you can't tell right now just by watching me, but I am cold. But thank God this workout is starting to warm me up. Keep going. We got about 10 more seconds or so. And then we're going to add in that second move. Three, two, one, awesome. So 
Move number two. We are doing a reverse lunge with a press overhead. We're pressing as we drop down into the lunge. We got five seconds in three, two, and one. Reverse lunge, press overhead. So your dumbbells start at your shoulders, press overhead in the lunge, and then they come back to your shoulders. Good, you want about a 90 degree bend in your front and back knee. When you drop into the lunge, Keep your chest up. Keep your eye line up. Great job. Almost there. We've got about 15 seconds. Maybe you can get a little bit deeper in that lunge. Three, two, and one, great job. All right, now the cool thing about this workout is that we're gonna take the number one move and the number two move and then put them together to make something brand new. So let's start with that lateral lunge and then we'll add the reverse lunge in the center. Ready, here we go. Lateral lunge to one side, dumbbells up to your shoulder, press overhead, same leg that went to the side goes back. Now we switch sides. Lateral, shoulder, and reverse lunge. Awesome, let's keep going with this pattern. Putting the number one and the number two move together. Lateral lunge, up, reverse and press. Lateral lunge, other side. So we're not only working our body <laughs> with this workout, you're exercising your brain muscles as well with these combinations. I love that, one more on this side. Nice job. Okay, so drop those weights. Our last move for every set is gonna be either a cardio core move or just a cardio move. This one, we're just gonna do cardio. Give me one jumping jack, two shuffles. One jack, two shuffles. Now, if you're not jumping today, then you can do one jack, two shuffles like this. One two, one jack, shuffle, shuffle. So you have options if you're not jumping. Good. Keep going. Shuffle, shuffle, jack. One, two, up. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Great job. All right. We got a little bit of a rest coming. I just want you to keep moving. If you need to get your water, now's a really good time. We have about 30 seconds, and then we go back into that set one more time. So each set you'll see twice. That'll give you an opportunity to get even better with each time you do these movements. All right, 14 seconds. I'm just gonna jog it out. If you feel like you need this rest to just stay still, that's fine. If not, you can jog it out with me. Grab your weights now. We're starting lateral lunge fly in three, two, and here we go. Good, other side, lateral lunge fly. I want you to see if you can push your chest out a little bit more on this one. Maybe you can get a little bit deeper in that lateral lunge. Whew. Great job. We're almost there. Let's get one more each side. Three, two, finish it. One, awesome. Going into move number two, reverse lunge with a press, starting with your dumbbells at your shoulders. Three, two, and one, here we go. Great job, guys. Maybe you can get a little bit lower, a little bit lower in that lunge. 
Maybe you can straighten those arms just a little bit more as you press overhead with those dumbbells. Great. Keep breathing. We're gonna put the number one and the number two move together. Got about eight seconds here. Ooh, don't fall though. <laughs> Three, two, and last one. Great job, 10 second rest. And then we're putting that number one and number two move together, starting with that lateral lunge with a fly. Three, two, and one. Remember, the same leg moves for each side. So that was just my right. Now, lateral lunge fly, same leg moves. There we go. Great job. Lateral lunge fly, press overhead. Awesome guys, we're almost there. Let's get one more each side. Last one here. Awesome, drop those weights. Going into that shuffle and jack. So one jack, two shuffles. Ready, here we go. Remember, you can also walk through this. Looks like this. Open, tap, tap. There's your jack, tap back, tap back. You decide where you wanna go. I'm gonna go back to the jumping. Nice job. Woo. Make this move as big as you can. Feel that heart rate go up. Three, two, one. Nice job. All right, we got about 30 seconds. We're going into set number two. Brand new moves. So this first move, Grab your dumbbells and I want your palms to face forward. Feet are wide, wider than shoulder width apart. Butt's gonna push back as we go into a wide deadlift. Looks like this. Squeeze the glutes forward and then give me a bicep curl at the top. I'm gonna turn slightly to the side so that you can see from this angle. In five, four, three, two, here we go. Wide deadlift, stand, tuck those glutes. Give me that curl. My dumbbells stay really close to my leg line. Even though my palms are facing out, I still keep my hands really close to my leg line. Now I really wanna see you push those glutes back and then squeeze them in as you stand up. Really feeling your butt cheeks really feeling, your hamstrings. Great job. About 10 seconds. I'm gonna come back this way. Last three, two, and one. Awesome. Move number two. We're gonna play a little bit with balance. Palms are still gonna face forward. I want you to balance on one leg, and we're, we're in the move now. And then give me an angel. Balance on the other leg, angel. Awesome. So really bring that knee up, balance on the one side, and then give me that angel with those arms. It's kinda like a snow angel, but you're not on the ground. <laughs> There we go. Good, use those, use those abs to keep that knee up. We got 10 seconds. 
Great, in three, two, and one. Nice job. Now we're putting move number one and move number two together. Start with that wide stance for that deadlift. Palms face forward. Ready, here we go. Deadlift, curl, down, balance to one side, angel. Reset, deadlift, curl, balance to the other side. Woo, there we go. Deadlift, curl, balance to the other side. You got it. Deadlift, curl. I told you that this, that this workout was gonna challenge not just your body, but your brain as well. <laughs> nice job. Deadlift, curl, and angel. Nice job. Keep going. Push those glutes back on that deadlift. Last one right here. Awesome. All right. Put those weights down. Going to another cardio and core move. Starting in a plank, we got a froggy, which is just dropping your heels back to your butt, and then a foot jack. Let's go. Froggy, foot jack. Good job, guys. With that froggy, drop your butt back towards your heels. If you're not jumping, you can always walk those feet. Great. Push your palms into the mat. Stay tight through your core. We got about nine seconds, guys. We got this. Last one. Yes. All right. Enjoy your rest. And then we're going back into this set from move number one, our wide deadlift, palms facing front with that curl. Get ready, we got about eight seconds. Go ahead and grab them, adjust this hood, there we go. All right, let's start. Push the butt back, squeeze it in, and curl. So good, you guys. Now, this being the second time that we're going through this move, I want you to push your butt back even further, feel that stretch in your hamstrings on the way down, and then squeeze it in even harder than before. Really feel those muscles engage. Nice job taking deep breaths as you move. Great job, you guys. Almost there, we got seven seconds. And last one. Awesome, going into move number two, our angel with the knee up. Palms face forward, hands are at your sides. Ready, here we go. Shifting to one side, knee up and down, shift to the other side. Nice. Make this a core move, not just a shoulder move. Really think about balancing, pulling that belly button to your spine, pulling that knee up towards your chest. Great job. So good, last one right here. Yes, all right, putting move number one and two together, starting with that wide stance deadlift, feet are apart, toes are forward, palms face forward. Here we go, deadlift, bicep curl, bring it down, balance to one side, whoo, there we go, with that angel. Reset in the center, deadlift, curl, and balance to the other side, excellent. Push those hips away, squeeze them in, get that curl. Yep. Q 
keep those palms facing forward. That makes this whole thing move as a unit and move smoothly. Three, two, one, great job. All right, taking it back down to the mat, going into that froggy, I'm gonna move these over a little bit. That froggy with a foot jack, three, two, start in your plank, and one. Froggy, good, foot jack. Remember, you can walk your feet if you need to. That's totally fine. Almost there. Last 10 seconds. Drop your drop your butt back to your heels just a little bit more. Brace through that core. Last one. Yes. All right, guys, going into Set number three, you got about 30 seconds rest. And I'm gonna show you the moves. So first move is an alternating tap back lunge. I'm gonna show you from the side. So you tap back with the back leg. The back leg stays pretty straight. The front leg is bending. Heel in the floor. Row, stand up. Tap back other side. Row, stand up. So with that row, we wanna drag our elbows in and back in and back ready we're turning on our mid back muscles here we go tap back lunge row stand awesome you guys great job so when you tap back your chest comes forward just a little bit do that one more time there we go and up Awesome job. So we're feeling our leg working as we stand up. All our weight shifts to at one side. And we're feeling our back working at that lowest point. When we do that row, we got eight seconds. Here we go. Make sure you're feeling it in the right places. Three, two, one. Awesome. Move number two is a squat with a front raise. So when we squat down, our arms will go up. I'm gonna show you from the side. Ready? Here we go, squat down, arms come up. So only go as low as is comfortable for your body. Palms are facing each other, working the shoulder, working the legs. Excellent, so I'm not swinging anything. I'm placing my dumbbells up in the air. I'm bringing them down. There is no swing. <laughs> Control that movement. We got 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Yes, you guys, all right. This move is going together. Tap back lunge and then squat with a front raise. Ready? Here we go. Tap back, row, squat front raise center. Other side, tap back, row, squat front raise center. Excellent. Controlling that movement. Remember elbows, you pull them back and in working that mid back yep come on so good we got 10 seconds maybe you can get a little deeper on your squat maybe your arms can get up to shoulder level on that raise come on three two finish right here and one Yes, all right, drop those dumbbells. Going into our cardio move, we're gonna shuffle and touch. So I'm gonna go one, two, touch down. 
you know I'm just gonna switch it to one just to stay right here on this board you can do one or two shuffles touchdown yep great job guys now if this little hop is too much for you then you can just step it out and that's fine reach for the floor if reaching for the floor is not happening then you just reach down so there's different levels that you can do I want you to feel great about the movement that you are getting today. I want you to push yourself though. If you can do it a little more, then give me a little more. Be good to that body. Come on, three, two, one. Excellent. All right, we got a 30 second rest. Going back through that set one more time, starting with that tap back lunge. This time when you do it, I want that back foot to go a little bit farther back. I want that row, I want those elbows to get a little bit deeper in that move. And we'll get this, ready? We got about 15 seconds. Just gonna give it a little jog. <laughs> you can grab those dumbbells. All right, in five, four, tap back lunge. Three, two, here we go. Tap back lunge, row. Stand, good, awesome. Elbows in and back. Feel the middle of the back turn on as you bring your elbows in and back as you draw them backwards. There we go, almost there. We got about 10 seconds. Feeling good right now, feeling nice and warm, especially through my upper body. Three, two, one, awesome job. All right, move number two, squat with the front raise. I'm gonna do it from the side, feet are about shoulder width apart. Ready, here we go. Squat down, arms come up. We are not swinging it at all. Placing it where it needs to go. Controlling those arms on the way up and on the way down. So good, you guys. We are almost there. Awesome job, we got 14 seconds. Come on, just get a couple more. A little bit deeper in that squat. A little bit more control with those arms. We got three, two, one. Yes, all right. Putting move number one and move number two together, starting with that tap back lunge, and then going into the squat with a raise. Three, two, and here we go. Tap back lunge, row, stand, squat down, so good. Full body move right here. <laughs> You're working everything, core, legs, arms. Draw those elbows back just a little bit more. Tap back, lunge row, center stand, squat, front raise. Almost there. Awesome, can you give me one more on this side? Just complete that lunge and done. All right, time for that shuffle. Ready in three, two, one. Reaching for the floor, shuffling from one side to the other. Remember, you can also walk it through. Totally fine like this. If you're reaching for the floor, but you don't quite touch it, that's okay too. Remember, this is about you giving you your best this morning, you giving everything that you have, and just doing a little bit more than you did the last time. It's all about growth, right? 
and that willingness to get up, to do it again, to take care of and honor your body. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Yes, all right, you guys. We got set number four, that is all. Set number four, so enjoy your 30 second rest. Now's a great time to get some water. Awesome time to get some water. If you need a towel off, then go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna show you these next moves. So first one, sliding lateral lunge. Toes need to be out. Dumbbells are racked. So you're going into that lateral lunge. Once you get there, you're gonna do a quick toe pop. Down, switch to the other side, toe pop. Ready? Here we go. Switch and slide, toe pop. So with that toe pop, I really want you to feel that calf turn on. Feeling that burning through your legs this whole time, because we're staying low in the move. Switch and toe pop. So good, everything's controlled. Come on, get a little lower. So good. Five seconds. Whoo! Three, two, finishing this one. Yes, all right, stand up. Keep your feet wide. We're going into a sumo squat, stand, press overhead at a tricep extension. Let's try it. Sumo squat, press, triceps. Back down into the sumo squat, press overhead, and tricep overhead press. Good, so on that tricep overhead press, elbows bend so that the weight's lower down towards the ground again. Then you bring them back to your shoulders as you drop into the squat. Press up overhead, dumbbells together, tricep extension. We got 12 seconds. We're controlling this move. So great. Four, three, two, one. All right, you know we gotta put move one and move two together. So start wide with that sliding lateral lunge. Toes are out. Ready, here we go. Lunge, pop, squat up, and triceps. Do it again. Slide over, pop, squat, stand, and tricep. Good. Slide, pop, center, up. So with the mixture one and two, you might not get that full lateral lunge. It might just be a slide over a little bit to one side, toe pop, back to center, press up, and that's totally fine. Depending on how long your legs are. <laughs> there we go. Three, two, one. So good, you guys. All right, we're going into our cardio core. We got a half burpee and then two knees. Take it down to a plank. Here we go. Two knees in, half burpee. One, two, good. So if you need to, you can walk through this burpee and that's totally fine. It would look like this, walk it back, two knees, walk it forward, hands up. So you decide if you're jumping or if you're walking through this. We got about 14 seconds. And rest. Awesome job, you guys. 30 seconds, we got set four one more time. And then that's it, you are, you are officially in the home stretch. <laughs> You're officially there. So we're gonna start with that sliding lateral lunge. 
We got about 20 seconds. Go ahead and grab your water towel off. I want you to mentally prepare to work through this entire set with only the breaks that are allotted. All right, we're gonna push, we're gonna give 100%. All right, dumbbells are racked. Here we go, toes out, squat down. We're just gonna shift here, toe pop, shift, toe pop. So that other leg where you're shifting, it might not completely straighten, and that's fine. That'll help set us up for a smooth transition when we put moves one and two together. But I still want you to shift so you're not at that center anymore. Shift over one side, toe pop. Shift over one side, toe pop. Good. Whew, this is burning. Feeling it through my quads, my glutes, my calves. <laughs> Stay low in it. Five, four, three, two, one more. And one. Yes, so good. All right, racked sumo squat, press, and overhead tricep extension. Let's go. Press, triceps. Bring it down. Press, triceps. So good. Maybe you can get a little bit deeper in that sumo squat. I want you to try for it right now. You can drop the butt just a little bit closer to the floor. There we go. Keep giving your best, you guys. We only have a few more minutes left. Yep. Okay, 12 seconds here. Then we're gonna put moves one and two together. Three, two, one, finish it. All right, set four, putting moves one and two together. Let's go. Get down deep, slide over, pop that toe, come back to center, stand, press, tricep, overhead press here. Back down, slide over, toe pop. So good, guys. Slide. Almost there. We have 13 seconds left with this move. We gotta finish our cardio core move and we'll be cooling down. And that's it. All right, moving on to our cardio core move. Taking it down, half burpee, two knees. Ready, 50 seconds, that's it, let's do it. One, two. And bring those arms up. Remember, you can walk through this burpee. Looks like this. Walk back, knee, knee, walk forward, hands up. Or you can jump it, whatever works best for you. We got 18 seconds. Yes, guys, three, two, and one. You did it, let's cool down, great job. That was, it's a good 40 minutes. Take a deep breath. <laughs> and exhale. Take a deep breath right here. And exhale. One more deep breath. Forward fold right here, bend at the hip, bring it all the way down hamstring stretch. You can widen your stance if you need to. Move back and forth through the hips. Drop all the way down and move back and forth. Nice job. Hamstring stretch. One more time. And go into that deep squat. Awesome. Hands go on your thighs. Roll everything up. Twist to one side. Drop the back knee. Hit that deep lunge. 
Now if you want to extend that back leg, you can totally do that. It's up to you. Plant the front hand into the floor of the mat, twist, back hand comes open. Nice job. Straighten the legs really quick. We already got those hamstrings, but we'll get it again. Back to the center. Roll up, turn toward the other side. Drop that knee if you want to. Keep that leg extended. Front hand presses into the mat. Back hand opens up, twists the body. Bring the hand down. Straighten the legs, quick hamstring stretch one more time. Bend to the front. Nice job. Arms reach up and exhale down. Reach up and exhale down. Two more. Up, exhale down. Last one. All the way up, exhale down. You guys are so amazing. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you at the next workout.